uh, impacted. You know, we had information that showed they'll be impacted. We did mapping that showed they'll be an impact. But the fire chief and that was giving them information otherwise, which we don't know where this information is. Um, we know in that, uh, particularly in these outlying areas where we've lost these four trucks, okay, it's going to be impacted back to uh, Pump 413 or Cassanti's area, Councilor Cassanti's area, Pump 424, Sarah Doucette's area, Pump 215 and Ron Moser's area, Pump 213 and Raymond Joe's area. They are going to be impacted in that for responses and also the surrounding areas for those. So is this a you know a hazard to the people? Of the Absolutely, city? it's going to put the citizens at risk, and that's why we started our campaign. Seconds count. You know, uh, our business is all about quick response. You know, we have to get fires faster than we ever had before. You know, it's, it's regards to the fire load inside houses and that. If you look at your furniture and everything else in there, they're all petroleum-based products, and it burns. It burns hot. It burns extremely fast. We got to be on the scene quickly, and that is to one fire suppression and two is rescue. And I feel that there's going to be a significant impact. Can you give us a minute or a second? Well, we, the calculation that we had done with our GIS mapping means from what we were able to respond to onto a normal house fire, right now, with this change, is going to reduce that capability by almost 13%. So it'd be 13% slower. 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 And that's significant. Like again, in our business, it's seconds, not minutes. Okay, great, thank you. Thank you. The fire chief and that was given him and that's as, as being right. And we're saying he was given a misinformation. Absolutely. You know, we did our, our GIS study, a proper mapping study, something that the fire chief didn't do and we proved in that uh, with our mapping study and that is with this change that was proposed that there would be almost a 13% impact on our response capabilities to a house fire. That's significant. What what does that mean? I think it's in that Responding to fires, particularly in those areas that have lost trucks, it's going to take longer to get the proper amount of manpower on scene and that to do our job. And, and how important is getting there as quickly as possible? Well, I think the citizens of Toronto realize that seconds count and, uh, you know, it's first, you know, it's property and, and life safety. Well, that's going to be significantly impacted. Uh, you guys have been warning about the possibility that this could come and trying to get councillors to change their minds. What words do you use to describe your feeling uh, now that this hasn't gone through? Well, my disappointment. My disappointment in that is that they accepted the misinformation that's been provided to them and that by, you know, our new fire chief, uh, I'm quite shocked, um, you know, is that they were not listening to what they had to uh, say before. You know, this is the third year that we've been here in that fighting. Uh, we won the last two and unfortunately we've lost this one.